everyone, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. I'm Callie, and up today on the tabletop we have Runica and the Six Sided Spell Books by Foxtail Game. It is for two to four players, ages 14 and up, and takes about 60 to 90 minutes to play. Runica is a dice drafting puzzle game, and if you're like me, you like those strategy type puzzle games, so let's see what it's all about. In Runica, you are a student at the academy learning how to cast runic spells. So with Runica, the game, you get your spell board, your player reference card, player token, the spell master cards, runes that you're going to be trying to get, masteries, which are worth even more, 80 of these colored dice, and some tokens for prestige, as well as the rule book and a comic guide tutorial on how to play. So we'll show you one turn of Runica so you can get an idea of how to play. Here's our first player token. The first player will go into the bag, pull out four dice for each player playing right now, roll them, and then players will take turns drafting, choosing their dice, placing them here on their stored elements card. Once everyone has all four, the first player will start by playing their dice. So what's unique about this is you can choose to play your dice in any order, and you're gonna play them based on where your board is located at the moment. Right down here, I have the yellow, so yellow is gonna be played along this edge, blue over here, green over here, red over here, so forth. Also, this special symbol here means I'm able to rotate the board. And that will allow me to place my green one over on this side. Also, if you place them and there's already a dice there, you simply move them up. Or I can use this eye symbol right here and enlist the help of my spell master. I'll also place my token there to make sure I know that I've used this ability and use the ability on the card. At the end of your turn, once you placed your dice, check and see if you match any of the rune cards here. This one, since it's purple, can be any color. They just have to match. I have four in a square here. And that will net me the zero points here and three points on the board. Remove those. And also the special ability I can use later. So I've got three prestige points here. The first player to get to 20 prestige points will win. And uh, just check to see if anyone has won. And then the next player goes. We'll replace the rune cards here. So throughout the game, you're trying to get these special charmed rune cards here, as well as these more difficult mastery cards, which you can rotate around to try to match. But you can only have a red in the red spots here and any other color in the other spots. So these ones are more challenging. These ones are easier. The rune, the spell masters will help you configure your board to match these. And also once you've gotten all four of them on here, used all four of the abilities, you'll be able to get a certificate of merit, which counts as additional points towards your goal of 20. That's one turn. The First player token will pass to the next player and continue on drafting and placing your dice. There's additional elements of strategy to Runica. When you first draft your dice, you can choose at that point to re-roll all of them and try to get different symbols. So you're really drafting based on the color, sometimes on the dice symbols, sometimes uh, both, right? And you can even re-roll again, but you'll have to remove one dice from your pool and put it back in the bag. Every time you uh, place, you remove dice from your spell grid or your stored elements, they're gonna go back into the bag. There's plenty of dice to go around. As well, another strategic element is when you are using those spell masters, and this kind of fits into the theme, you're enlisting their help and no one else can use them for the round. However, there are cards that can counteract that as well. When you get use all of those uh, tutors of your spell masters, you'll get extra points, which is really great for trying to move along and win the game. So you can see how the strategy really uh, 
is tied to the theme, which is really cool. It's all about magic. You're trying to learn how to cast these spells, enlisting the help of teachers, and also trying to get all those resources that you want and not your fellow uh, spellcasters <laughs> trying to, it's a little bit of hate drafting in the game as far as trying not to let them get too far ahead of you while focusing on your own studies and trying to create your runes and your spells. I really love the fantasy theme in this and I think it fits really well with the mechanics of the game. Turning the board is really fun and it really adds that spatial sort of puzzling and thinking element to it where you have to think multiple steps ahead and think and you have to use all of your dice unless you want to re-roll them which makes you think well if I do this then I can do that and then this and so it has a really great multi-step problem solving part to it that I like a lot and also if someone drafts the dice that you want you have to have a plan b <laughs> to go along with as well. Um, utilizing the the spell masters is really key in this game and getting a few of those easy spells under your belt right usually you want to go for easy spells first and then build up a little bit with the special abilities on the cards to help you get those spell mastery cards which are worth more points the components are really cool. The dice are beautiful and colorful. These are prototypes, so we're going to see different, some different symbols on the dice, which will be really cool. It'll be really pretty and exciting. And turning the board is really fun. I think the components will be really great. Foxtail Games did uh, Lucidity, which is an awesome game, has similar dice to it and some, some similar elements. But I would more say if you like games like Sagrada or Azul, those sort of dice and tile drafting puzzle games, this is a great game for you to pick up and back. Uh, I think that you'll really like it if you like the puzzle games like I do. <laughs> And the art is really cute too. There's some fun fantasy elements to it and the comic book which kind of goes through a tutorial of how to play. Not the full game, but kind of builds up your schema for how to play over the course of several rounds. Really great for younger players, I think, who maybe don't have an adult who's gonna sit down and read the rules and, and teach it to them, but they just wanna get started on their own. That's a really great option for them. So that's what I think of Runica. I hope you enjoyed my review and a little sneak peek of the prototype. It's going to be on Kickstarter very, very soon. Very exciting. So check out the link in the description below to check that out and see if you want to back Runica and the six sided spell books. <laughs> well, this has been Callie from Unfiltered Gamer with your Kickstarter board game review. I hope you liked it and make sure to like the actual video as well as subscribe to our channel for lots of board game reviews, giveaways, all that fun stuff. You can also check out our partners, uh, Everything Board Game and The Giveaway Geek. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time.